everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this week's video, I thought I'd just do a little bit of a sit down and chat video. So this is, I'm just going to chat about all things like hormones, looking after my skin, going off the pill, etc. So basically, I was on the pill for two years, or two and a half almost, and I went off it two months ago, maybe three, almost three I think. And anyway, since then, I've just been trying to rebalance my hormones naturally and do everything that I can to support my home hormones in a more natural way because I just, I began to realize that the pill isn't exactly good for you, obviously. It's all synthetic. It just gives you hormones. Um, so I was taking it to help with period pains, but now I'm working with my naturopath to do that naturally and yet yeah, just find better ways of balancing my hormones and keeping my period pain in check. So I'll just explain to you things that I've done so far and I would love if you guys could comment any tips or comment below if you're experiencing anything like I am because that would be so helpful. So to help rebalance my hormones, I've been taking various supplements from my naturopath. So first I've been taking this like tonic my naturopath makes up just for me. So that's really helpful for me. And I think it's been working really, really well. It tastes disgusting, but I will, I will take any disgusting supplements if it's going to give me the benefits that I want. So this has been really helping balance out my hormones. Um, I've also been taking curcumin. Yeah. So this is the active ingredient in turmeric and it just helps with inflammation and with balancing hormones. Apparently it's really good for your skin too. So I've just been trying that and I've been having this for, I don't know, like two months, two or three months probably. And then the last supplement I'm taking, especially for hormones, is Sarah's Day Tropica Body Bloom, which it's, it's more for your gut, but it also supports healthy skin and hair and nails and things like that. So because I'm now having hormonal acne issues, I feel like this really helps support my skin. So as I did briefly mention, I am having like, I'm getting some acne around my jawline, my cheeks, my chin. Um, this is my skin now without makeup. So it doesn't look amazing, it's got a bit like of scarring and redness and stuff, but I'll put photos up either here or here, I don't know, of what my skin looked like just a month ago, it was really bad, and I've seen a lot of people can get it even worse with hormonal acne, especially after they go off the pill. So I've been trying to work on rebalancing my hormones from the inside and hoping that like reflects, um, it reflects onto the outside of my skin and stuff. But I've also got a new skincare routine. So every day I use the Bohemian Skin Gel Cleanser and I just use, what's it called, Vanity Planet, like one of those brushes on my skin. If you see my morning routine, it's also on there. Then I apply the Oni Superlative Serum and this is just to help with brightening and it's vitamin C, so that should be helping. And then also the Oni Complexion Cream, which is just moisturizer. And then I feel like this really helps, but three times a week I use Bohemian Skin AHA Enzyme Exfoliant. And this is a chemical exfoliant and it just like gets rid of all the dead layers of my skin, but it doesn't. You know, like physical exfoliants kind of tear at your skin. Because this is chemical, it's much more gentle on my skin, which I feel like is really good for just clearing away dead skin cells and stuff and helping to like prevent further acne whilst I'm taking all my supplements and stuff to help also but from the inside out. So I know a lot of people have experienced similar things going off the pill, hormonal acne, hormone imbalances and stuff. So I'm kind of, I've been watching lots of videos but I'd also love to film maybe like some vlogs focused around this topic. I feel like that would be really interesting. If you would be interested, please comment below because I'd be happy to make any videos like that. Also, please, please comment tips or comment if you're experiencing, experiencing similar things or you have in the past because I'd love to chat to you and connect over that. Um, so yeah, I would love to make this into like a mini series, but 
just let me know if you think you would be interested because I'm not going to film it if you guys don't want it. But yeah, I think this is it for this video. My camera looks like it's about to die, so <laughs> better wrap it up quick. So if you have experienced anything like this before or you're experiencing it now, please comment below, let me know what you did to help and I'd love to connect with you all. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because it really supports me and my channel. And I'm so grateful to have everyone who's subscribed and who watches my videos. I really love this little community we've created. So thank you so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.